Yo, what is up, guys? Shupa21 here, recording on this shitty ass camera. It is currently 3:38 a.m. Friday, January 1st. Happy New Year's, everybody. Um, I just wanted to say a few things. Um, I know we really haven't been doing much with this channel. Um, we've got we've been busy with work and uh, family and the holidays, of course. So um, <laughs> we're trying to get things uploaded at, at least once a week. We're, we're trying. Um, so I just wanted to up, do an update on that. Um, It, it is officially 2016. Yay! <laughs> 2016. That's awesome, actually. That's like a, kind of an awesome concept to think about. Like just, it's like a few hours ago. It was. It was. We were in 2015. And now it's 2016. Like, it's it's a new year. I I don't know. I just think that's an awesome concept. I think it's a cool thing to think about, but I just got back. I just got back from a party with uh, a few other members of the Winter Zero crew. Zero himself. Um. Uh, Winter wasn't there. I think I think he's in uh, I think he's in Florida right now. So <laughs> lucky dick. Um. I was there with Zero. And, uh, it was actually, uh, at our friend's New Year's party. I mean, it's New Year's party, duh. Because it's New Year's, but unless it's, like, a birthday party. Someone has a birthday on New Year's. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. <laughs> but, um, it was, it was fun. We played Hi Zero brought his Wii U. We, we, we played Hyrule Warriors. We, oh, my God. We had to, we were trying to, um, Unlock the last of Wizros or Wizwos. That's what we call, we call him Wizwo because a lot of his weapons involve a tongue twister. We had to unlock Evan one to unlock the last of Wizwo's weapons, um, and we managed to do that. Um, I played on the TV as Wizwo, while Evan played on the gamepad as Link. Link is his highest. Leveled character, I think Link was always is everyone's highest level character at first, because it, it's Link. You have, to, you have to play the majority of the game, but mine's Ganondorf. I love Ganondorf. Um, but even I don't play the game that much. I think Ganondorf's like level 85 or something. While while Zero, he's got like level 112 for Link, and God as a bunch. Yeah, he plays that game like re religiously I think it's awesome that he does that I, I think it's awesome that he fi has a lot of fun with Hyrule Warriors because I love Hyrule Warriors don't get me wrong it's a great game but I found it to be like really repetitive really easily the grind is so real in that game um there's uh, some characters in the roster I do not care about and there are a lot of in the bosses the boss battles I just, I hate in Hyrule Warriors. I, they were cool the first time around, but they got really repetitive through Adventure Mode. Um, but I, th I think it's, I think he's really, I think it's really awesome that he, he loves, he still loves it. Like, he loves Zelda. He thinks Hyrule Warriors is a great game, and I think that's really awesome that he thinks that, that he can find enjoyment and so much enjoyment in that game because he could play that game for hours and he he, he really could I think he's like I said he's got every weapon for every character except Wizwo well now he's got Wizwo's weapon he's got every weapon he just needs to work on Sia now um I'm nowhere near that he's even done Tingle uh, I did not touch Tingle um it was funny though I remember playing uh with uh one of my friends, he plays Tingle as a joke. Because Tingle, when I got him, he's level 1. So I haven't touched him. 
but then Tango's got these level 400 weapons or whatever, and it's, it's freaking ridiculous. And so he's playing them as a joke. And he managed to kick a lot of asses, Tingle, just because, just from the 400 damaged um, weapons, it was insane that Tingle, Tingle didn't even need to be leveled up. It's incredible, but um, I don't know how the leveling works in the game. I don't know if it actually d d adds any extra damage. I think it just like adds, like um hit resistance or something like the, the higher level you are the less damage you take from hits or something I don't know but anyways um I think it's cool how much Evan I, I actually kind of admire how how much he is into Hyrule Warriors I think it's really cool um but that's not all we did we did Hyrule Warriors at uh the party. We also played Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> Super Smash Brothers. Oh, I won a lot, obviously, because I'm awesome, very awesome. But I, I also lost some. Zero. Evan, he actually won a game. The guy who says he's shit at Super Smash Brothers, he actually won a game. He won. <sighs> I think, I don't know, I think we had six or seven people playing at the time. I think it was six. But, like, three, no, it was seven. So four of them were Sonic. And then four, four people were playing as Sonic. Uh, Evan was playing as Lucina, and I was, who was I? I think I was Peach. I might have been Peach. No, 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 that was the Shulk battle. I I forgot who it was. I don't know who it was. Um but Evan managed to win that one. He I was villager, that's what I was. I was I was villager. Oh my god, the trees. I killed so many Sonics with trees. But no, Evan won that one and those he actually he did really good on that one. He beat me very he beat me fair and square. He he beat me, he killed me. I mean, I, I kind of feel like a dick, like, saying, oh my god, that never happened in a million years, but it's, I was actually shocked, and, I don't know, it was really cool, um, and we didn't play Smash, we also, I brought over, um, I actually, I brought over, uh, Season 1, of uh, Dragon Ball Z, the Blu-ray, and um, which hardly mattered because we watched on SD TV, not HD. But uh, yeah, I brought it over season one, and we watched. What did we watch too? We watched about a good uh, six episodes. I think we watched. Yeah, we got, we got up to six episodes. So yeah, it was actually Evans. It was actually Zero's first time watching a Dragon Ball anime. Um, so it was, it was cool. He, he likes it. He really likes it. Uh, it was that, so it was actually cool being there for, um, someone's first time getting into Dragon Ball. Like, I saw his, rea I saw his reactions to some things. Uh, I, um, like, I actually really enjoyed his reaction to the Raditz battle between, it went between Raditz fighting Goku and Piccolo. I actually, when, um, Piccolo used the special beam cannon... And he and pierced through right through Raditz and Goku. Uh, his reaction, it wasn't like "Oh my God," nothing like that. But I don't. I was like, it was really cool. I like, I, cause I don't, cause if everyone I know knows Dragon Ball Z. They know it, and but Evan, he's new to it, so I don't know. I actually, I just liked his reaction. But um, it was a, it was it was a fun it was a fun party. It was really fun. Uh, we took group photos, obviously. Um, but after Dragon Ball, we went we went back and played some some more Smash. Uh, just just me, Evan, and uh, our friends Chris and Lauren. Um, 
Uh, that was pretty much, we watched some YouTube, um, just a little bit, uh, watched Peanut Butter Gamer and Star Bomb, that's about it, that's all about we had time for, then, uh, I went back home, that, so that the party was over at that point, but, uh, so we went back home, not, I decided, you know what, I got really nothing better to do, because, like I said, it's like, it's 3.48 in the morning, I'm really fucking wide awake, and I got I don't gotta work till like 4:30 t t today technically 4:30 p.m. not a.m. If, if I had to work 4:30 a.m. today that would be wouldn't happen. Um, but yeah, uh, I just felt like doing this. I don't know why so I wanted to do it. Thought it'd be cool, but so yeah, this 2016. 2015 was a good year, I think. I, I I thought it was a lot of good stuff came out. 2015, the um, Star Wars: The Force Awakened came out. Saw that the b amazing movie. I loved the movie so much. It was it definitely felt like Star Wars in my opinion. I was, I was kind of worried that it being a new director, not being Lucas, that it wouldn't really have that Star Wars feel. Because even with the prequels, with what Lucas did um, in the prequels, it still felt like Star Wars. And Star Wars, at least what Lucas said, Star Wars is was intended to be some kind of soap opera. And while I'm not big on soap operas, I could definitely see the soap opera ishness in Star Wars and I kind of I kind of like that the, the the bonds that people build in it and the movie series I really enjoy that and you get a, you get a feel for these characters in the movies because of those bonds that they build with each other and and I I'm, I'm really I really um like watching those bonds happen um i can't think of words right now but uh like i said it's like it's like it's like almost four o'clock in the morning right now but um it was a really great movie episode seven uh it wasn't it, it still had some of that soap opera ishness in there not a lot not a lot like not as much as the older movies had it but it was still in there, and I liked it. It still had some of that in there, and it felt it felt like just the right amount, and it was really cool. I liked it. The new the new director J J Abrams or I don't I don't know how to pronounce his name. I don't know. I'm terrible with names, but he he did a great job. He did. Um, I'm excited for episode eight already. I can't wait for it. Um, but yeah, 2015, we also got, uh, Nathan Drake Collection, Uncharted, that came out, There's, I, I love this collection, um, the graphics, uh, at least the cutscenes don't, haven't really seemed to change that much, but, the gameplay and the graphics are they they really improved. But it feels like a straight port from PS3 to PS4. But you can definitely tell it's it's 60 frames frames per second. It was really good. Um, it, a lot of people don't agree with me on this, and there are times where I call it shit too. But Star Wars Battlefront, I actually really enjoy this game. Uh, I, under I understand the hate behind this game. Don't believe, don't, don't get me wrong. I understand the hate. This game deserves a lot of hate, but for what it is, um, I really, I really had fun with it. I hate the leveling up system. God, was is that garbage? But everything else, like, oh, I, the season pass is ungodly expensive. I don't think it deserves to be like sixty, fifty dollars, whatever. Fuck, I think it was fifty dollars. Um, but 
everything else, the gameplay I found to be really fun. Um, it's they they totally screwed up the party system. The part it's so hard to like get your friends into your party, and or at least not hard, more confusing. Um, at least for me, because what I had to do if I already had people in my chat party and I wanted to make them as my partner, what had to happen is if we went on Battlefront, what like uh, if we went on Battlefront. They had to leave my party, my chat party, re-enter, and then that's how, and then then I can send them a partner invite. At least that's that's how it happened for me. I don't know what other what, what everyone else goes through, but yeah, it was <laughs> it it was weird, but but with Battlefront came some cool controllers. Like this one, this is the Darth Vader controller. I don't know why it's a Darth Vader controller. I don't know what's supposed to symbolize. I think his chest piece with all the buttons. I think that's why there's a blue button here, but I don't know. I, um, it's just cool. It has a glossy feel to it. I actually really like that. It's It feels really cool. Also, I don't know if you can see this, but um, the touchpad says Star Wars on it. And I, I love that. It's pretty cool. Um, this is my main controller. I use this all the time. And I love it. Um, well, so yeah, my R2D2 pillow. I got that too. I got Dragon Ball T-shirt. This was this is Christmas now. I got all this for Christmas. Um, I actually got just got this like a few days ago because from my mom. Because uh, because what I actually got a uh. Oh, I wanted to get I wanted to get some kind of like Star Wars pajamas kind of not not really pajamas but something to um wear for fun like at some kind of party you know so I thought you know I would get this clone trooper this clone trooper onesie because I have a clone trooper helmet right and what I wanted to do I wanted to have the helmet I wanted to have a blaster but I also wanted to have a lightsaber and like a like an em like a like a Sith Lord cloak, and I and uh, I wanted to be like the ultimate fuck you Star Wars character with a lightsaber and the blaster. I want, I want, I wanted to be just like you. Oh, you want to fight me? No, screw you. But um, I I got a onesie and it 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 wasn't good. It was bad. It wasn't really good. <laughs> so I took that. So I asked my mom if she could take it back for me. And she did, and to my surprise, she traded it in, actually, for this R2-D2 pillow. And, oh boy, do I love this pillow. I mean, it's R2-D2, look at this. It's so adorable. And it, it feels so, well, not the glossy parts, but that's, that's fine. It, it feels just fantastic, and I love it. <sighs> um... <coughs> I went to a uh, Yumacon too, 2015. That was pretty fun. Oh, I, don't, I don't remember what I got. Oh yeah, I got a Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. Because when I was little, I lost uh, my Game Boy Advanced, my my original ones. So I got I got one at Yumacon. <laughs> it's pink. Yeah, pink. Because I, I actually like the color pink. Shut. Up. Uh, I also. I got Metroid Fusion with that. Very happy. I love Metroid Fusion. I love it to death. It's an amazing game. Um, I think 2015 was just a really good year. I got. I didn't. I didn't meet any new friends. Well, I, mean, I don't need to. But 20, 2015 was just. It was it was really fun. Like a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool games came out, and a lot of cool DLC came out too for certain games like uh, Destiny. Destiny. Um, I'm a huge Destiny fan, by the way. By the way, don't hate. Um, I'm a Titan in Destiny too, and I'm a very proud member of uh, the clan Seekers of the Void. So. But, uh, 
Destiny just got a uh, um, free DLC, and it was, uh, or I don't know about free, I don't know if you have to have the Taken King with it, you might, but I don't know, um, but Sparrow Racing, and if you're a fan of uh, Wipeout, not the stupid TV series Wipeout, no, if you're a fan of uh, the PlayStation game Wipeout, where you're, pl where you're playing as, where you have racing hover cars and shit, um, Sparrow Racing is a lot like that, and I really enjoyed it. Except you don't have weapons. You can't fire weapons while you're Sparrow Racing, which is kind of, eh. There's only two tracks, but I think this is like a, some kind of beta or something for, like, future. So, like, I, because they kind of just stopped it now. So I think what they did, they only released two tracks to see if people liked it. And a lot of people do like it, to see if the people liked it, how people responded to it. And what they can improve on in it. And I think they're going to work on it. And once they actually finish it, add more tracks, add more, you know, mechanics to it. I think they're just going to, like, release it, like, for good. And then just have Sparrow Racing in there. Because what they did, they, they had it, they had released Sparrow Racing. And they only had it out for so long. Like, it's gone now. Sparrow Racing's gone for now. Uh, until, it, I don't know when it's going to come back. I don't, th I don't think that's like I don't think the date for that is released because it, it it just left so um but spare racing was really fun and it, it came with your own armor with its own armor too and if I think if you got to like past level three in spare racing it start dropping uh light level uh two th um light level uh three twenty armor pieces so it's like hey I don't need to do the raid I just got to race. So yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> that was fun. I didn't I didn't play it that much to get to level three. No, just cause you, you need to play it a lot to get to level three. I just I didn't do that. But 2015, pretty good year, and um, I just want I always want to talk about for, about the channel a little bit right now again, cause um. Like I said in the beginning of the episode, I, I know we haven't been updating, up, uploading that much stuff lately. We're trying, um, we're trying to make it like once, one, uh, once a week, but you know stuff happens. Um, we might be doing some Minecraft stuff soon as well because I just I managed to get this controller working on a on my uh, PC, so I can play on my PC and I am really happy about that and if P and um I it's actually very simple too so if people are wondering like uh what oh god my eye why is it so itchy if people are wondering why or how to do that uh do it have a DualShock 4 controller connect to your uh Windows PC then I actually can help you with that I can actually show you a tutorial that I looked at and it's very step by step and it's very simple to to do so um i can it, it, um so if you leave a comment or something below i i can definitely i'll definitely help i'll definitely um, tell you how i did that um but so we have yeah, we might be doing some minecraft some minecraft stuff too with uh sissy and uh other and winter and yeah, we might be we might be doing some Minecraft. That'd be cool. Um, I'm currently working on Sonic Colors. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually finally editing something now. Yeah, I'm currently working on Sonic Colors. Uh, Zero. I don't know. I don't know if he's still doing uh, Mario Galaxy. He might be. I don't know. But he's currently doing Bayonetta now, as well. So. Uh, oh, sorry. It's actually it's actually 4:02 a.m. now. <laughs> I've been oh wow, I've been talking for like 24 minutes. Wow. Uh, at zero in winter are actually working on Yoshi's Woolly World. Um, so we're so they're gonna upload that too. I know uh, we I know our video we're not I know we're not like the best let's players out there or like the funniest but 
this is we just we really like doing this we, we really think it's a lot of fun um we, we're not we're not doing this to like get popular or get famous or something it's just this is something this is a cool hobby that we like to do and um we just get in we like getting together and just playing games and we like to record us and share our experiences with people on the internet we like we find that fun and we really like doing we really re like doing this channel and um sharing sharing our experiences with these games with you guys and i know we don't got a lot of followers or a lot of viewers but for those people who do watch our, our videos and for those who do follow our channel uh, I just want to say thank you thank you for watching like we thank you for watching our videos thank you for just being there the entire time and thank you for appreciating what we're doing because like I said we're not doing this to get popular or famous or anything or we're not not at all. That's not why we're doing this. We're doing this because it's fun and we enjoy it. We we really we really like um we really like playing video we really like playing video games. That that much that much is um <coughs> is obvious. But like I said, we like exp we like sharing our experiences with you the viewers. And we hope to be doing it for quite for a very long time so I think I said all I want to say 2016 we made it to another year here's to making it 2017 I'm super 21 thanks for watching